I forgot that I had pre-ordered the brand new version of the Retron 77. A few days ago I checked, I was like, oh yeah, let me cancel this, I changed my mind. Amazon said, screw you, we don't want some, you're taking it, we're shipping it soon. And then a few days later they shipped it. I was like, what the hell, why couldn't have you canceled it? But it's okay, because I actually really liked the original version of this. And this one's the new one, is there anything really different? Not really, but with the hack, yeah, there's a hack for this thing. That has changed a little bit over time, so I figured why not take a look at that and see, you know, what this thing has to offer. It's an HD Atari 2600 that runs off of emulation. You can use original cartridges, has some built-in games with it. The original version, I did have it, reviewed it, and I believe those disappeared from the market for a little while. I believe it may have been due to Atari suing Hyperkin at the time. Uh, don't quote me on all that. I know they did sue them, but I don't know for sure if this was part of all that. I know it was something with their controllers and the way they were, um, you know, advertising things using the Atari name. But this says Atari up there, you know. What else does it say on here? There's a lot of stuff. You want to read it? Freeze frame that shiz. It's got 16.943 aspect ratio, 720 pre a premium mass controller, and some other stuff. There you go. Freeze frame. Boom. So let's open this bish up and take a look. So yeah, the hack has uh, evolved with this system over time. And it's been a while since I've taken a look at that. So I figured today we can uh, go ahead and do that. Cause yeah, nothing's really changed with this device. Kind of like the Retron 5, where nothing really changed with it other than the color. Hyperkin's doing that. Like every console, even their AV composite consoles, they're re-releasing them in funky ass colors. I actually really like them. I like the colors, but I don't really, want to buy a new one of everything because there's not really anything different here. So the wood grain, we got the uh, funky artwork there. Actually, I do really like this one. Don't know why they didn't go with the Hyper Beach edition like they did with the Retron Square and the Hyper Beach Retron 5, but uh, this one's all right. Looks cool. Weighted system. Hyperkin does weight, you know, put weights in a lot of their systems. I used to kind of be against that, but then I realized, you know what? It's fine. Give it a little heft, you know, make it so it doesn't really move around. So that that's okay. Not a big deal there. But yeah, there's you could see them fucking weights, man. They're weighing it down. Even without those weights, I think, you know, the plastic's pretty thick, so not a huge deal. There's the front of the system. Uh, we got our two-player, one-player, two-player ports for original... Uh, controllers, you can use the one that came with it, buy new ones from Hyperkin. Uh, that little, like the paddle one, uh, I think it's called the Ranger. Did a video on that, pretty cool little controller. We've got our load, save states mode, reset, on and off, player one and two skill. And then on the back you do have like a, the four three button, it's just a button, it's not a switch. I would have preferred to have a switch because I noticed on the stock firmware, it doesn't remember whenever I've played it. I did test this beforehand because I loaded up that hack, um, but it wasn't saving that for whatever reason. Then we do have a fry button, fry in those games, and then a black and white and color button right there. HDMI out, micro USB for power, and then we do have a little tiny ass 128 megabyte um, micro SD card that this came with, just like the original version, Focus Bish. The original one came with 128. You know what, that's 100% fine. You wanna know why? Because you could flash the, the community build firmware with the latest release of Stella. There's a newer version, I can't remember what the number is, but you could flash that and then put like thousands of games on here. Because Atari 2600 games are like kilobytes. They're tiny, so you could fit a ton. I got like 1200 games on here right now. Like the whole library plus some. A lot of some. Okay, what else is in here? We get our uh, controller in that retro amber, weighted down, which is fine, I guess, for, for this. You know, some people are gonna play like this. Some people are gonna play on a table. And it, it, it's fine. It does have some chunky ass weights in there. Quality looking plastic, nice sticker with that, that look, the little uh, baby blue buttons. I think it's all right. I think this controller for, you know, being an Atari 2600 joystick, it's fine. It's not bad at all, to be honest with you. And we get a Hyperkin sticker, collect a knees, gonna put them on the back of random people's cars, live well, play well, eat well, buy your video game shits from Hyperkin, or not, 
Like, I mean, yeah, not a, yeah, they, they've been kind of being a little rough with some of these things. That restaurant square, man. If you haven't watched that video, take a look. I just reviewed that thing. And man, such a missed opportunity. Like a lot of products from Hyperkin, but they do do some decent stuff. Their controllers are usually good. Um, this system, I think, is all right. Yeah, we could play fucking Atari 2600 games on the freaking Raspberry Pi, your microwave, your mom's vibrator, freaking your cell phone. There's tons of things you can play these freaking games on. I get it. But you can also put original cartridges in here. Some people like that shit. You could dump your games to the micro SD card. You know, come on, man. Okay, so that's it. We had manual that just talks about a bunch of stuff. And this box right here over yonder. Uh, yeah, what do we got here? What do we got here? We got cables. We got HDMI. Boom. We got power. Boom. And the brick. Uh. So we got all that. Oh, I kind of need... No, I don't need that. I just need the power. I got an HDMI cable right here. Um, now, the one thing I do recommend is doing the... Uh, the little hacky hack action, getting that Stella community build on here. Reason being is the uh, stock UI sucks freaking big fat floppy donkey balls, sweaty like a mofo. It's just bad. It's like so basic and it just, yeah, there's some built in games, but man, it's not great. Using the Stella build, the community one, it's freaking awesome. You got tons of options and whatnot, but let's power this thing on. Let's get this plugged in. Let you guys take a look. I think this thing looks sweet. Looks pretty cool. Hyperkin, I mean, they got that style. I think out of the companies that do shit like this, um, Hyperkin does a good job with the, the look and the style and the quality of plastics they use. Not bad, not bad. Oh, if you watched my Retron Square video, you may remember, you may recall that there was like some kind of freaking booger action inside of the system. This one, I don't think I've seen any, any boogies in here. I don't really see any boogers on the inside of that, but this thing, holy crap, dude. Not on the inside, but right right here. I, I can't get it off. I gotta get something, but there's like a freaking nasty ass booger right there. Do you see it? Because when I was playing this, my thumb kept like getting stuck to it. I gotta like scrape it off, but there was like a bunch. I think it was just the, the adhesive from the sticker. I'm just, I'm just kind of like moving it around, but it was very sticky, very boogery. Like what's going on, Hyperkin? Keep your boogers to yourself, dude. I, it's like one in the morning when I'm recording this, uh, just cause I want to get this done. <sighs> it's been a long day, I'm losing my freaking mind, but that's okay. Is this shit not powered on? Yeah, the light's on. Then why won't this turn on? Come on, bitch. No, oh, you know why? You know why it's not turning on? Because I didn't fuck, I didn't fucking put in the, the HDMI cable. <laughs> oh crap. There we go. Look at that, dude. Stella 6.5.2 for Retron 77, homie. That is what I'm talking about. And it saved my spot. Like I have like 1300 games on here or something. It saved where I was at. Cause it takes forever to scroll through this stuff. Let me try to, Zoom up a little bit, you know, cause you can't even read it. Now with Stella, it took me two minutes. Burn the image, I'll put a link in the description. Burn the image to the SD card and then dump all the games into a folder called games on the root of the SD card. That was it, man. That was it. And it saved where I was at in the list from the last time that I played this, so that's cool. Now we could scroll down, take a little while. Uh, the build does have all this artwork for when you put your games on here. Some games may not have artwork, that's okay, but most of them do. Now if you hit right, you can like scroll quicker, like a lot quicker. We could play like spider monster, that kind of thing. Really awesome. Really awesome. Let me see here. Uh, reset. Oh, there we go. What is this, like a wannabe? Uh, Want to be freaking Donkey Kong? God, these games can be seizure-inducing. Oh my God, it's playing the uh, the hell's that song? The ice cream trucks used to always play it. 
But there, there's that, you know, I've, I know I've overlaid throughout the video some footage that I captured just to give you guys an idea of everything. But I think this is a neat little system. Let's go ahead and um, exit out. We could just hit the, uh, the fry button that exits out and then the second button, the one that's right next to the uh, HDMI cable. Is that fry? Yeah, that exits out back to the menu. And then the aspect ratio switch. If you're in a game, it brings you to the settings. So there's that. This thing's going for 70 bucks right now. Pretty neat. I don't really care for 2600 games too much anymore. You know, I kind of grew up out of it. Nintendo came out back in the day. I said, screw Atari. Those games are baby games. I'm a man now. I'm going to play my NES games because they were awesome. And then I just kind of forgot about Atari. But I do like reliving some of the games I remember playing in my basement back in New Jersey on my 13-inch black and white TV, like Snoopy's Red Baron, E.T. Yes, I freaking like the E.T. game. I don't care what anybody says. It was cool. I had a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. I'm going to give you guys, because it's late and I'm tired, and I'm losing my freaking mind. I'm going to give you guys two blurry-ass thumb butts. Blurry like a Bigfoot, two of them, but thumb butt cheeks. Oh shit. Peace out, bye bye, and boom. Bye.